Daily Broadside, day 269. Been playing pool all my life. Currently, the pool table at my residence does not have a resin or acrylic balls that flow on my table. I don't allow it. Only balls made from elephant tusk ivory. And where? Only Asian elephants, mostly from the Sumatran Islands. That's where I get most of mine. You may ask yourself, aren't those endangered? <laughs> they better not be, because I need new pool balls every once in a while. Uh, it just rolls, comes off the cue so much smoother than those fake balls. Nobody has time for that. Have you ever noticed that anybody that drives a Mercedes station wagon like always looks the same? If it's a dude. And well, for the most part, if it's a girl too. They're always like in their 70s. The dude will have a short ponytail. Uh, he'll probably wear some kind of fedora or something in the winter, some kind of winter hat. Just some, they, they, then they'll have like cats and dogs in the back. It's just a very strange section of the population that, that own those things. Um, and it's always been that way. Like those people have always been that way. Uh, it's very odd. And uh, I don't give money to anyone who's begging on the side of the highway. Uh, it's just a rule of mine. But I do like staring at them. I will just turn and look at them with their silly little fake signs um, because so few of them have legitimate needs like they uh, think they uh, are fooling everybody with. Such a ruse. I only give my money to places that I want to give my money to. I just have a rule that I don't give money anyone asking because I find that to be fraught with fraud more times than not. Not always, but more times than not. I'm not a fan of the bald eagle being the representative of the United States. I think that, uh, if nothing else, the golden eagle, a uh, much better bird um, and way faster. And if we're just going off total badassery, it would be the peregrine falcon. That some bitch goes 242 miles an hour in a dive bomb. I don't even understand how that's possible that a bird can go that fast. Like what kind of thrust are they, how are they doing that? How are they that exponentially faster than most every other bird on earth? Um, it's pretty crazy. But the golden eagle's like third or fourth in speed. So at least if you switch to the golden eagle from that silly little bald eagle that we have to protect. I think if any, if you have to protect it as a species, it shouldn't be a representative of us being America. America. Like, don't touch it. It might hurt. It might get hurt. You know, like you have to protect it and put it on a list. Nah, you ain't got to do that for a honey badger or something like that. Yeah, honey badger would be like, uh, you can take me right off your endangered list because I'll whip anybody's ass tries to make me endangered. I pity the fool that tries to endanger my honey badgered ass. That's what I'm saying. And the other night I watched the 1965 movie, uh, Bloody Pit of Horror, uh, with the Crimson Executioner, the dude that was married to Jane Mansfield, the bodybuilder guy, can't remember his name, Moriarty or something like that. I don't know what it was. Uh, and... Uh, it was such a bad movie. And I love cheesy, campy, like 50s and 60s horror movies. I just find them to be so laughable. You just feel like you're in Mystery Science Theater 3000. And I think that one actually was the show after MST, MS, MS3TK, whatever the heck it was. The show that came after that, like something, Laugh Tracks, whatever it was. I think that movie was actually in there. But, oh, it's just amazing that someone put that much money behind a film like that and it actually got made and the theater didn't have a real executioner come and kill the director for even making it because it's such a bad movie um it's bad but it's so funny it's worth seeing so kids if you need a nice holiday movie to see that isn't elf or christmas vacation that would be bloody pit of horror giddy up